If you guys are looking for web hosting, you probably have come across Cycron web hosting. I bet you've come across many blogs and videos telling you Cycron is the best web hosting ever. Just click the link in the description, right? Well, many of them do this because they just want to make a commission, but do they really answer the question? Is Cycron a reliable and fast web hosting? There is only one way to find out. We purchased a Cycron hosting plan and monitored it for six months. We tested the uptime, the downtime, the page speed, the whole shebang. And I'll share my complete results in this video. I'll also go over the pricing, the features, and the interface to see if this is something for you. Now, I I'm gonna play devil's advocate here. You know, we do have an affiliate link for SiteGround in the description below of this video. And if you guys do use it, it does help us to continue to provide these tests for you guys all for free. So we would really appreciate it and it does help us reduce the cost to bring you guys these results. So we're first gonna walk you through our test results. We'll then talk about the pricing and features to see is SiteGround worth these results. We'll then be talking about the interface, the features, the services to see if you could use this platform on a daily basis. Now, before I show you guys these results, let me show you the websites that we tested this on for six months. Here is the WordPress website we tested Cycron hosting on. The website is a complete website with more than 10 pages, and it also has various plugins installed on it like Elementor, WP Forms, WooCommerce, and a few other various plugins. We did not want to use a blank page test because this really doesn't utilize and strain the server and show how the server reacts with pages and plugins installed on it like a real live website should. In this test, we use PHP version 8.1, which is the recommended PHP from WordPress.org. We also use the Grow Big plan, which is a recommended package from Cycron Hosting. So we wanted to make this test very fair and transparent. We also do have the domain in the description below, along with reports from Pingdom, in case you guys want to download the PDF reports from Pingdom. So without further ado, let's take a look at these results. We've been recording Cycron Hosting for six months. So let's first talk about the page speed. Cycron had an average load time of 1.79 seconds. Google recommends that your website should be loading at under 2.5 seconds. So this page speed meets that criteria. Keep in mind, we did not install any optimization plugins like WP Rockets or the Seraphonite Accelerator plugin. We probably could have shredded another second of load time on the website with proper optimization tools. Next, let's talk about uptime. Cycron had an average uptime of 99.99% with only 32 minutes of downtime over the course of six months. But what's a good and acceptable uptime? Usually, anything above 99.95% uptime would be considered an excellent and reliable web host according to medium.com. Cycron meets this uptime criteria. Trust me, nobody likes a slow website. I think everyone here watching this hates slow websites, right? So based off these results, I would say that Cycron is a fast and reliable web host and is suitable for anyone either starting a website for the first time or full-on web design agencies. So now that you guys have seen these results, the key question here is how much is all this gonna cost me? Cycron offers three different hosting packages, the Startup, the Grow Big, and the Go Geek. The Startup plan starts around 299. Now, the Startup plan is really a dud because you can only host one website and it has limited features compared to the other two plans. You can get a year of hosting with this package for around 50 bucks. The Grow Big starts at around 499. The Grow Big, I would say, is the optimal package. You can host unlimited websites, you get 20 gigs of disk space, which is plenty, and your server allows up to 100,000 visitors every single month, which is pretty enormous. It also includes PHP implementation, which can cause your web pages to load 30% faster, receiving a faster first time to bytes. You also receive free SSLs, free migrations, and free backups. With this plan, you can get a year of hosting for just 90 bucks. Next up, the Go Geek. The Go Geek plan starts at $7.99. Now, if your website starts getting more traffic, you can always upgrade to the Go Geek. The Go Geek is pretty similar to the Grow Big. The difference with this package, it just includes more space and bandwidth and able to handle more traffic for larger websites. You can get a year of hosting with this package for around $115. Now, I, I wanna talk about something that most reviewers intentionally leave out, and that is the renewal fees. Now, this usually catches people off guard, so let me explain what this is. So next, let's talk about the renewal fees. Every plan you see here will renew at a higher cost after your first year. The startup plan renews at $18, the Grow Big renews at $29, and the Go Geek renews at around $45. So after your first year of hosting, you'll then be billed at these new renewal rates. So now that we know this, how does Cycron's renewal fees compare against other web hosts in the web hosting industry? Well, let's take a look. Let's take a look at Bluehost. 
We also installed the same template on our website for our Bluehost accounts and we monitored their performance as well for six months. Bluehost had an average load time of 6.11 seconds, which is pretty terrible. They also had an uptime of 99.93% with more than three hours of downtime. I will leave the domains and downloadable PDF reports for you to view in the description of this video, just in case you want to see them for yourself. So now let's look at Bluehost's price. Bluehost offers four different plans, which are very similar to each other. Their starting price is nearly double SiteGround's prices. Here is a comparison side by side. I will note that Bluehost renewal fees are slightly cheaper than SiteGround's, but from our speed test and uptime, it makes way more sense to go with SiteGround. You can always browse around other hosts and check the renewal prices, but in my opinion, if I've already found a fast web host with good uptime, I would probably stick with them. So as you guys can tell, getting the cheapest price for web hosting isn't everything, right? When I first started with web design, I started with iPage and HostGator and my sites were extremely slow, right? And then when I would call the companies, they would blame the theme. I would go to the theme, they would blame the plugin and then the plugin would go back and blame the hosting. It turns out it was the hosting, right? So getting the cheapest price isn't always the best solution. So if you guys do want fast web hosting that's reliable, I would definitely consider SiteGround here. So now let's talk about the interface with SiteGround. The interface with SiteGround is pretty friendly. They keep it simple and modernized. When you log into your account, you'll see several tabs like the home, website, services, the billing tab, referrals, and they also have this new marketplace where you can purchase additional services. You can also access customer support 24 seven using their live chat box. They also do have this new live chat AI helper just in case you're looking for something quick. The support with SiteGround has always been premium and you'll probably wait less than a few minutes for a live agents. And a new amazing feature that SiteGround has introduced is their new malware cleaner. Many web hosts on the internet have malware scanners, but they don't clean the malware from your websites. Instead, you'll be forced to go to a third party and have them clean the malware for you, which is pretty inconvenient. SiteGround now has a service where they will clean the malware from your website for just hundred bucks, which is much cheaper than the industry standard. On the back end of SiteGround, you can access all of your websites from the website tab, and you can also purchase additional add-ons. You can also access every site tool for each domain. Here you can get an overview about your website information, like the disk usage, the name servers, and the traffic. You can also adjust your caching. You can install WordPress, access your file manager, adjust the SSL, and also adjust the PHP for every domain. Overall, the interface is really simple and easy to learn. You can manage all the websites from one location and pay all your invoices here. In my personal opinion, SiteGround does offer well-rounded hosting packages that excel in speed, features, uptime, and customer support. Although SiteGround might have slightly higher renewal fees, the quality of service that you receive definitely justifies the cost. Overall, I would definitely recommend SiteGround hosting. Finding a reliable web host can be a real pain in the butt. I've been through countless web hosts, paying overpriced fees and getting really crappy performance. Trust me, I have licked the pot clean when it comes to web hosting. So don't gamble with other web hosts like I did. I hope you guys enjoyed this web hosting review and I hope I brought a lot of value in this video and answered the question, is SiteGround a reliable web host? I would definitely say yes. If you guys do have any questions for me or thing you want to let me know, let me know in the comments below of this video. Uh, also, if you guys do want to use our affiliate link, guys, it's in the description. Go ahead, knock yourself out. These tests do cost us money. Just to record the progress of these web hosts, it costs us around um, $250 a month. And then we also have to pay for every package so it can get very pricey. If you guys do want to see the reports for these websites, I will also leave those in the description below of this video. My name is Daryl Wilson. Have a good day. I'll see all of you party people later.